Welcome to the Find My New Life podcast. I'm Christopher Lapine, spiritual liberation author and speaker. This podcast brings you inspiration, hope, and answers for how to live a modern, God-centered spiritual life. It will help you have a more direct, deeper experience of God, find more happiness, and live your incredible God-given destiny. You can find all my podcasts, as well as videos, books, and more at findmynewlife.com. So, let's get started with today's show. Hello, this is Chris. This is the podcast for January the 8th, 2023, the second podcast of the year, How to Claim Your Human Birthright, Unlocking Your Infinite Potential. Today's podcast is going to give you a new way of thinking about yourself, and this is going to unlock the other benefits from your birthright. You're going to have an independent approach that doesn't involve any middlemen or churches or groups. Not that they're bad, but this will give you a completely independent approach. Also, it's going to help you improve or raise your self-esteem. It's going to give you a way to find peace and motivation to move forward. Because when you use that new way of thinking about yourself, you are unlocking the power of your birthright. You're opening the doorway, literally the doorway in your mind. So no matter what you're facing in your life, no matter how flat or depressed you feel, um, no matter what you think your flaws are, your frustrations, no matter what disappointments you are hitting, please understand that there is hope. You have value. You have a unique role to play in this world and going forward. You have a right to happiness. You have great potential. There are things ahead of you. Believe this. Please believe this and keep an open mind today. And as you listen to my words, listen to your own spirit within. Listen to your own soul within. And it will tell you uh, if what I am saying is true or how to alter that. So trust your inner guidance. Ultimately, that's what you need to do. That's going to lead you to the truth. This podcast is going to be fairly short fairly succinct, so let me get right into it. Number one, um, your birthright is, as a human being, you are entitled to these things. Don't you want to feel more hope, more assurance, peace, security, happiness? You deserve meaningful relationships. You deserve achievement, growth, and transcendence of all your personal limitations. You deserve to have your most important questions answered. You deserve to have that burning desire for truth and growth satisfied. You deserve to find your true destiny on earth and in this universe. And you deserve to find the truth about God and eternal life and the universe. You deserve it period. No one can keep this from you. So claim, go out and claim your birthright as a child of the universe, as a child of God. That's the most important thing. You are a child of God. Let this completely sink into yourself. Be open-minded now, please. You are a child of the creator of the universe. You are a child of a perfect absolutely loving God that knows you, sees you every day, and cares for you with a love that's incomprehensible, that's completely unconditional. His Spirit lives within you. There is an absolute peace of God inside each of us, and it's unique. It's designed for each of us. Mine is a little bit different than yours, but you have one, and it's always trying to speak to you. God is your loving, universal Father. A Father that is far beyond the most perfect vision we can have of a human Father. And God is not male. God is not female. But God takes the role of the best fathers that we can think of. He will meet all your spiritual needs. So no matter what experience you may have had with males in this life, whether they're your own father, others, Please remember, 
that the best that you've ever seen is nothing compared to who your loving universal father really, really is. The greatest being in all the universe has placed a fragment of himself, a spirit of himself within you, and this spirit will reveal the true nature of God as a loving divine father. Let that seep into your soul. And above Christianity, without Christianity, look at the life of Jesus. Jesus is a divine being, and Jesus reveals the true nature of the universal Father. If you look at the way Jesus lived his life, that is a perfect representation of the universal Father, if you want to know who God really is. Of course, there is a mother aspect of God. There's a unifying spirit in God. That's there as well. We know this. But the primary relationship we have with God is as a father. God is your loving father because the father has put an actual fragment of himself in you, an actual piece. That means we are all sisters and brothers. Take that in. You are a child of God. God is your father, and we are all sisters and brothers on this universe journey. You will find total salvation by trying to seek and trying to follow the will of God. You don't have to be perfect, but if you're responding to that divine leading, if you're trying, that's your birthright. Your birthright is to experience it and live it and take part in this adventure. Your birthright also entitles you to no middlemen, no one interfering between you and God. How dare anyone try to interfere with your relationship with God within? You have a direct line. That's your birthright. Organizations and groups aren't automatically bad, but they have no place in trying to interfere or direct your relationship with God. Period. There are no other rules that you need for salvation. You believe that God loves you. You believe that God exists. You try to follow the will of God every day. You try to love. You try to serve. You try to give. That is all that is necessary. That is your birthright. Believe it. It's fair. You have value and potential. You have an eternal future. Absolutely. No matter what is happening to you right now, please understand that this is just the beginning of an incredible eternal life and that The Father placed you in this moment of time, in your circumstances, with your gifts, with your unique personality, not only for the best possible life here, but going forward throughout all eternity. There is a reason you are where you are right now. And your birthright is to begin to realize your tremendous, tremendous destiny. Let that sink into you. Feel that every day. Let that be your mantra. Let that be your affirmation every morning, every night. Whenever you can remember it, say to yourself, I am a child of God, the very creator of the entire universe. All past, present, and future eternity, he has me in his hands. He is my loving, loving, divine, universal father holding me loving me. I don't need an organization. I don't need a group. I don't need a guru. I don't need an intermediary. I have my loving, loving father right there. And I will seek out my, my friends, my sisters and brothers who are on this path and nothing can truly stop me. That is your birthright. You are going to run into problems. You are going to run into challenges. But when you say that affirmation again, when you say your birthright, You will feel it, and you will grow each time, again and again. Make that your thought for 2023, my friend. I can tell you this is true. I've been through this many times, and I'll tell you, this week, I went through one of the biggest, most painful disappointments of my entire life. I don't want to say what it was, but I can tell you it was extreme. And I can tell you that's why this podcast is being released today, because I was recovering yesterday from the disappointment. It was gigantic. It was gigantic. Um, It was a disappointment that had been building for decades. 
decades. Uh, so, and it's not, has not, doesn't have anything to do with relationships with others. It's just something I was trying to achieve. So, but um, I can tell you that today I am rebuilding. I am claiming my birthright and nothing can stop me. And I know you, my friend, no matter what you're going through, no matter how successful you are, remember your birthright. Your birthright is to realize your place in the tremendous, incredible destiny that the universal father, your loving father has for you throughout all future eternity in this moment now as well. The good you can do in this life, the relationships you need to grow, the relationships you need to find, the work you need to find, the relationships you need to leave behind, the work you need to leave behind the things you were meant to achieve. It all depends on you accepting your birthright, accepting the core truths of your existence as a human being. And once you do that, once you have that affirmation, that fire is going to begin to grow in you. Sometimes you'll get beat down. Sometimes you'll get disappointed. It's part of it. But start the affirmation again. Ask for help and you will get it. I absolutely promise you, and that will move you forward on the incredible adventure of life in 2023. So I wish you the best. Claim your birthright. No one can keep it from you, and there is absolutely no limit to where God can take you if you follow his gentle leading. Thank you so much, my friends. Um, may you have a wonderful week. May you feel the absolute love of God and no those who are on the path with you. I wish you the best. I will see you next weekend in the next podcast. And uh, of course, you can check out my website for other podcasts. Uh, please subscribe and also uh, share this with others. I wish you all the best. Take care. Thanks for listening today. I hope it helped you on your journey. Go to findmynewlife.com for all my podcasts and much more. If you'd like to contact me with ideas or requests, use the contact me link on that website. I wish you the best on your spiritual journey. Remember, you are a child of God and we are family. You could claim an amazing destiny. See you next time.